Hi, Travis Guzzi. I'm the Mission Engagement Facilitator here for the Central Region of the Southeastern District. And I'd like to welcome you to this March edition of the Jesus Center Vlog. And for this month's vlog, we're going to focus in on the mission practices of St. Patrick. So for this vlog, I thought we'd meet here in a pub as uh, St. Patrick's Day is a day that we not only celebrate Irish culture, but we all get to participate in that. But we also know St. Patrick's Day is more than drinking beer and leprechauns and shamrocks. It's the day that we remember that great saint, St. Patrick, and his mission efforts to Ireland to bring the gospel to a people who had not known Jesus. Now, the story of St. Patrick is an amazing one of a man who was kidnapped uh, as a youth and taken and lived as a slave in Ireland. After he escaped from Ireland, he went back home and there he was converted by the gospel of Jesus and became a Christian. But the thing is that Jesus didn't just redeem Patrick, he also redeemed his experience. And instead of holding a heart of animosity towards the people of Ireland, Jesus gave him a heart of compassion uh, to want to see them to come to know the gospel the way he had. And so when he went to Ireland, he didn't go as a solo missionary. He went in community with others and came along in missional vocation by creating these communities uh, that were not separated from society, but, but, but involved in society and the lives of people. They set up communities right next to the major trading hubs along the major travel roads of Ireland. And there they lived life together, uh, having businesses, uh, living life together, eating together, drinking together, and celebrating. And in the midst of doing that, next to those who didn't know Jesus in these tribes, they invited them in. They, they didn't primarily go out to share the gospel. They first invited them to share life together, to participate in the community life that they had as they uh, lived this Christ-like life. And in the midst of that, people came and they had a sense of belonging before they ever believed. And in the midst of the sharing that life together, they won an opportunity to share the gospel. It opened up those opportunities that people wanted to find out more that would move uh, people like Patrick and, and his comrades to come and live in them and be the blessing that they were. You know, it's nothing new that Patrick did. It's really what the ancient church did. You know, we hear in the book of Acts that the early church, when they came to faith in Jesus, that they uh, devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to the breaking of bread and prayer, that they met in each other's homes and in the temple, and they had all things in common, even selling their possessions and giving to the poor. And we hear how people on the outside of this Christian community saw how these Christians, uh, the name they gave them as those who lived these Christ-like lives, as they saw that, they were like, well, I, I don't know who this Jesus is, but boy, we see how they live their life with love and compassion. And they, it drew them to that. They wanted to find out more of what that life was like. And in the midst of that, it won a hearing for the gospel that spread not just there in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria, but to the very ends of the earth and inspired the missionary practices like Patrick in Ireland and others. So what can we learn from the story of Patrick and how he lived a, a missional life vocationally in community. Uh, in this time that we start thinking about uh, the idea of missional communities, and that's something that's growing more and more in the church today, it's an idea of stepping out and moving out with others to, to not always invite people to church, but to go be the church in the community, to live life with people, to, to serve others and be a blessing in our callings together and all of our vocations of life. And in the midst of that, as we live that life together, we invite others as we build relationships and we bless to come in and, and see who Jesus is through our action. And that through that, and by the working of the Holy Spirit in prayer, that that creates opportunities then to share this one that moves us to want to be that blessing and to share that hope and that love that we have in Christ. And so maybe for you, as you think on this St. Patrick's Day, uh, how could you take some of St. Patrick's mission practices and form community with others and be a blessing in your community? Who are the people that God's calling you to reach? What would life look like if you were to live mission with them rather than just to them or trying to get them to church? And how can you use the things that you already do in life, of living life maybe uh, in your work, uh, where you play, where you eat, uh, where you uh, enjoy time off, maybe like a pub like this. And just to be able to live with others, to live life together in community in Christ, and to invite people to come and to participate in that life together that you share. And so we want to wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day, God's blessings, and all the best. 
So as we conclude this March edition of the Jesus Central Vlog, I just want to leave this thought with you. As you go and seek to connect with your neighbors and be a blessing, I want to leave this blessing with you, this traditional Irish blessing. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of your hands. God's richest blessings. And as always, remember to keep Jesus central. For more information about what Jesus is doing in and through the central region of the southeastern district, feel free to contact me at tguzi at se.lcms.org.